Welcome to another edition of Kitchen Time with Chef Paul and Chef Melissa. We are here today to talk to you about stocking stuffers. You know, we in our last one we talked about just some of our favorite things, and this is a great little episode we're gonna do on just all of the small things that you can fit into a little stocking or just as a quick little hostess gift. Maybe not something you're gonna wrap and put under the tree. We kind of pulled up to the front counter some of the favorite things that students buy after taking classes with us. Um, one of my favorite things that is perfect for a stocking is a microplane. We all know and love them for zesting, but they're great for ginger, they're great for spices. And a lot of people already have one, but they don't know that they get dull and need to be replaced, especially if you're using nutmeg on them. And ginger will dull those things up. So it's nice to have a fresh new one every now and again. Um, we also have our garlic peeler up here, which is probably our most purchased item after a cooking class. And it's just, you know, a $6 little gadget that blows people my, people's minds every time they use them. Absolutely, a knife skills class is like one of our most popular things once they see what they do. Yeah. Ooh, that's a great one, knife skills class. You probably use these a lot. Yes, we do. Yep, so a bench scraper, you're gonna be able to get all the veggies you've chopped off your board without dulling your knife. Or if you're baking, you can clean up all that flour on your counter. Speaking of baking, I found this. I didn't even know we had these. How cute are mm -hmm. these? I saw a pile on the hold shelf with a couple in them and I was like, I wonder who's this pile belongs to. <laughs> because how cute are these and they're a perfect size to go into a stocking for your baker friends mm -hmm. because this is something that a lot of people I don't know would necessarily have it's one of those fun things for the holidays you actually could use it year-round for all kind of things but it puts these beautiful little patterns on your baked goods which I think is super super cool shortbread would be great for yeah any kind of sugar cookie or gingerbread roll it to the thickness you want you're gonna dust it with a little confectioner sugar or flour and then roll over one with the with the snowflake pen and they'll have a cute little design oh that's super cute and these are european beech wood so that's a really nice wood yeah this is one of my favorite companies we all have our little local things here um, this is honey next door and we have the virginia highland honey and we have a morningside one and it's all from apiaries or beehives that are super hyper local and we all know Atlanta is like allergy central and they say having the local honey helps with that. So I'll do Absolutely. I'll do anything I can to get rid of some allergies. So if you are not much of a baker, yep. we also have some other super cool stocking stuffers in the way of the what a nut products. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorites, you know, old school southern tends to be the cheese straws and these are delicious so these are the cheddar cocktail shortbread cookies but they come in what a variety of six flavors i think yeah, so you have your classic kind of pecan sandies we have a key lime a the chocolate cranberry. the cranberry very seasonal but the, che the cheddar ones are my favorite i mean they're delicious it is it's like a cheese straw in a cookie form so if you've got a tray or a gift for somebody that loves these or this type of these are amazing love love these and then if you have friends who like the traditional Christmas candies, mm -hmm. peppermint canes are always a classic option. The minis are cute, but these are a really nice size. Yeah, those are handcrafted by Hammonds, and some of them are filled with chocolate. I love chocolate filled. Yeah. That's so a great idea. I would love to see one of those poking out the top of my stocking, or sometimes I like to buy them and wrap them into the bow of a gift. Absolutely. They just get How cute. Nice nestled right down in there. Yeah, that would be super cute. Just spin in there just like that. Exactly. How cute! Yeah, it just you know puts a little extra personal touch on it. Um, I always get socks in my stocking, and it's just kind of a Zang tradition. I would like to petition my family to change that to Euro <laughs> Scrubbies instead of socks. This is our most our number one item by quantity almost every month in the store, and it's just this little miracle scrubby that's good on anything from nonstick to stainless steel pie plates, mm -hmm. sheet pans, anything you need. It doesn't get all stinky like a sponge. Absolutely. So can't and, live without that. And then if you have for the grillers or the, the meat guys or you know, even people who were just testing other recipes, these Thermoworks Thermopot pans are fabulous. Yeah. You, They're convenient. Christmas colors even. Yes, yes. You can't 
beat Thermoworks in terms of a brand and quality of instant read thermometer. We also have probe ones by them. Um, but it's, you know, a lot of times people will not splurge on a good digital thermometer for themselves. They might buy like the $10 cheap one in the grocery store. Um, but how long do those really last compared to how long these are going to last? Right, and you know, what can you do if they don't stay calibrated? Right. You just have to buy a new one. It's a nice investment too because you're not going to have to, you know, buy another one in the next week or the next month because mm -hmm. it just kind of, you know, didn't last. So. Exactly. So some other things, if you are... Um, begging for the little scrubby here. I would like some more Yetis, and this one is such a cute size. This is the 10 ounce tumbler. Yeah. You call this one a Royal Rambler? Yeah, it's, it's Yeti, super great product. Yeah, it's great. It's finally a size that's not huge, but will still fit under your single serve coffee maker. Oh, and coffee, yeah. that's what that's for. Um, that's too small for a cocktail, Melissa. I don't know, it could be. <laughs> But it doesn't hurt for her that it's pink, right? It's pink. <laughs> and there's a variety of colors, yeah. you know, as traditional to Yeti. We also just got in the Yeti cocktail shaker, which is the hot item this year. And that will be out of stock real fast. So, highly I mean, recommend you know that. that yeah. And then if you just um, want to give some friends who have a really pretty tree and they're looking for new things to add to it, these little Christmas ornaments are so cute. This is a charcuterie board. They are so neat. Mm -hmm. So like if you come in for one of our charcuterie classes, grab you a little ornament and you can like gift your box to somebody with little Christmas ornaments. They have everything from charcuterie boards to sushi, to Christmas Santa chefs, to even little bottles of tequila. <laughs> Our most popular ones are probably the Georgia peach. We also have the little peanut ornament and an Atlanta ornament, and all of those make great keepsakes. So I think that gives you a lot of good ideas for things to put in the stockings. Yeah, and we'll have this display set up the whole year, and we'll probably just keep adding new things, and this is just a fraction of the assortment of stocking stuffers we have here. We even have stocking stuffers for your pet stocking. Little Thomas will be getting this in his this year. They're his favorite treats from Smart Cookie. My so. big um, Great Danes would eat the entire bag and everything in one bite, but I yes. bet they would love it, not the bag, but the contents. Yes, and for my own stocking, I will be getting one of these Open L limited edition um, pocket knives. They came out with a series of three knives designed by three different artists, and the handle is beautiful wood and comes with this artist design painting on it and so it's perfect for walking out to your little kitchen garden to go snip you some parsley or thyme and absolutely and then one other thing if you can't think of a gift specifically for a friend that has everything or that loves to cook but you believe they do have everything we always have something they don't have yet so gift certificates gift cards go right down in those stockings. They can be applied for classes. They can be applied for items in the store. Well, we hope we've given you a lot of good ideas to put in those stockings, maybe something you hadn't thought of yet. And until next time, Chef Paul. And Chef Melissa here with Kitchen Time. Cheers. Cheers.